Hello everyone, my name is Umbra's Darkness and I hail from server 174. I have been asked to make a intro video on how to get your queen to level 16 in 4 days and your queen to level 20 in 2 weeks. Um, I was asked this by some friends on the Worldwide Discord. I will, I am in that Discord probably 12 hours a day. Uh, my username in there is also Umbra's Darkness. Please feel free, if you have any questions, to at me there, uh, or leave them in the comments below on this YouTube video. I This is my very first YouTube video, so I'm sure that I will miss something, and I am happy to go over it, and I'm happy to discuss with you how to min-max in order to ensure that you get the best quality gaming experience for you. With this being my first YouTube video, I'm going to do the uh, very obvious, very selfless thing to do and say, please, if you like this content, if this is something that you want to see more of, I am happy to do more of it. I just need the motivation. So please, subscribe. Uh, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment letting me know what you liked, what you didn't like, where I can change in the future. Um, I really want this community to grow, and I want to do the best I can do in order to get there. Without further ado, the topic for today, let's get into it. So, uh, I run eight accounts, I run six farms that I started 36 hours ago. As you can see, my water pee is level three. Uh, which means that I've been playing for approximately two days, uh, and I'm queen level nine. Uh, before the end of the before the end of today, I will be queen eleven, potentially queen twelve, uh, which will be at the forty-eight to seventy-two hour mark. And by the time I reach the ninety-six hour mark, I will be queen sixteen. Those are my milestones. Uh, that's quite an accomplishment uh, for the standards as of right now for how this game is played. How I'm doing this is the purpose of this video. So, uh, very important to note that this is possible right now, and the reason that I'm creating farms right now is because of Force of Life. Uh, that is allowing you to take advantage of the resources that are given on a weekly basis it's been happening for the last five weeks and my understanding is it's scheduled to at least happen in another three weeks out uh without force of life it would take me six to seven days to get to level 16 it would take me three weeks to get to level 20. so if you're watching this video and force of life is no longer available they're no longer doing the skin giveaway uh, that is the timeline that you should shoot for. But as long as Force of Life is still available, you should reach Queen 16 in four days using this guide, and Queen 20 in two weeks. Completely free to play without spending a single penny in the game. So, the most important chart in order to accomplish this is this right here. Up to level 8, there are chapters in the guide chapters one through six that'll get you all the way to queen level eight um and start you on queen your queen level nine journey once you finish all six chapters you're really allowed to do whatever you want as you can see inside of this guide it tells you that in order to get from queen eight to nine i need to have a cocoon leveled up to level eight from 9 to 10, a healing pool, 10 to 11, a wet soil, etc, etc. Obviously, ant population would include the population buildings, and in order to... Right here is your dining area. Of course, nowadays, your dining area is better known as your feeding ground. Your feeding ground, of course, requires you to have one of your population buildings or worker ant nests at that same level uh, and then you'll have to level up the worker ant nests in order to uh, level up your queen at certain checkpoints so any building that is not on this chart should not be touched 
there's no reason to. Or the buildings that you choose to level up beyond this chart should be done with very good reason. Good reason would be things such as you need a sand pile to be the same level or the level higher than the depot level that you want. So sand for sand depot, wet soil for wet soil pile, plants for plant pile, uh, plant depot. And as you can see, I'm only leveling up one sand depot. I'm only leveling up one leaf depot. You don't need it. Uh, the resources in this game are not balanced. It is better to hunt wild insects than it is to rely on internal resources. These are dumps that do not promote getting to Queen 25 as fast as possible, or in the topic of this game, Queen 20 as fast as possible. Another exception to this rule uh, is your barracks. Um, as you can tell, I am only leveling up the barracks, uh, the carrier barrack. That is because if you look at this chart, you only need your shooter barrack to be level 13. So I'll start working on that as I get closer to queen 13 and I will work on, and then my carrier barrack is the only barrack after that that is required one at, once at queen 16 and once at queen 23. However, uh, your barrack, so beyond, so your guardian barrack never needs to be leveled up, right? Your guardian barrack can stay level one forever. Your shooter barrack needs to get to queen 13. Your carrier barrack needs to be leveled up when it's required in order to advance the queen and also at these effect breakpoints to get the next T carrier. So carrier ant nest level 1, 2, 5, 10, 13, 16, and 19, and 22. Other than that, you should not be leveling up this building. It does The increase in hatch cap is not worth it. The other building that you should be leveling up should be your evolution fungi, and it also follows the same trend. You should only level up your evolution fungi at the proper breakpoints. So level 1, level 4, level 9 level 14, and level 20. Beyond that, you shouldn't touch your evolution fungi while in the beginning to intermediate stages. If this video goes well, I'll talk about basic evolutions, where I believe you should go, what order you should go. Um, if it turns out that this video does well and more people want to hear what I have to say. So going back to this chart, you can see all the resources it requires, assuming you have no buffs to drop the amount of resources required, assuming you have nothing that drops the amount of time that's required. Uh, these will always be the same. It's the same no matter what account you are. No account is built differently in that regard. Uh, I currently have my six farms that are all level nine. That's why there's a bunch of red dots. I'm sorry, guys. I'm using it as an example, um, but I don't want to do anything on this account that's different than the other five farms that I do because I don't want to get confused. Um, just to give you an idea of how much time I've spent on this farm to get it to level nine, I've spent about three hours. I play for an hour and a half every night uh, on my computer, which is the only place that my farms are located. I spent an hour uh, two days ago setting it up at, or an hour yesterday setting it up and an hour and a half today getting it to level nine i will begin to work on queen 10 and pushing forward uh after i'm done recording this youtube video and i'll do all six farms the exact same way or correction this is my main account uh, i've been playing for 47 days uh, and I'm Queen 23. Uh, very easy to do, very easy to get Queen 25 if I would have known what I was doing in the beginning. And I'm hoping to be able to correct those mistakes for you guys um, 
and make it so that way you guys have a more enjoyable start. And then my alternate account. This is my free-to-play account. Uh, if this YouTube series kicks off, I plan on playing this game free-to-play on one account and pay-to-win on the other account. Uh, if my YouTube kicks off, the money I make off of YouTube will be spent on my pay-to-win account to do tests and experiments for you guys. I'm sure that people will want to know how this ant performs, what this ant does, if production-wise. So that's that's what I plan on doing with any money I make from these YouTube videos. Uh, my free-to-play account is to show you what is realistic as a free-to-play player. Um, you can see that I quit using it, so up until uh, two days ago when I was convinced to try and make this YouTube video, uh, this was a farm account, so uh, I got to Queen 16 and then I started hitting it with my main account. Um, but two days ago, a couple of my friends had an intervention with me and was like, man, you need to try this YouTube thing. So that's where we're at today. Um, all right, so a couple more things before we end this video. Uh, follow this guy. Follow this chart. Link in the description below. Follow this chart. If it's not in this building, if it's not in this building chart, it's not your barracks at the proper breakpoints. It's not your evolution fungi at the proper breakpoints. Don't touch it until you're queen twenty. It is not worth it. Nothing else is worth upgrading until you're queen 20. And if you follow this guide, that will be two weeks of gameplay. Nose to the grindstone, and you will benefit significantly. The giant benefit of getting to queen 20 is colony actions. Colony actions start at level 8, queen 8, and they increase every three levels. So 11, 14, 17, 20, 23, and 25, because um, that's the final level. And that is why you push for Queen 20. There are others in the community that will say Queen 16, when you get insects, is where you break off. Don't don't stop there. Don't waste resources on insects. It's not worth it. There are people that will say Queen 18 is where you stop and you break off. Don't stop there. Don't do that. It's not worth it. Uh, that just gives you the fourth rally center, which you want to get to. But Queen 19 gives you T7 troops. And T7 troops are your bread and butter. You're going to be using T7 troops for probably your first three months of gameplay. So after your first two weeks of playing this game, you'll be at T7 troops and you'll be using those troops for the next three months. And then Queen 20 is where that colony action gets a significant increase. Once you get to Queen 20, uh, if I make more YouTube videos, I'll break down uh, what I would do, how I would upgrade from Queen 20 to Queen 25. I would I'll also break down other buildings that might be worth your time. I'll break down how to do with the evolutions and things like that. But until you get to Queen 20, do not touch any other building than the buildings on this sheet, your barracks at the appropriate breakpoints, and your evolution fungi. I truly hope to make a difference and an impact to this community. And if by making YouTube videos is the way that I can do that and the way that I can make this game grow and I can get give the people a voice to the developers uh, and try and share my insight and my experience uh, in playing this game, I hope that, that, that this is how I can do it. Please, if you want me to keep making videos, if you think that this is a good use of my time when I get off work, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel, so that way if I release another video uh, about evolutions or qu up Queen 20 to 25, uh, you'll be notified. I would really like to know that I'm making a difference to this community and that it is worth everyone's time. Thank you guys. Uh, feel free to message me on Discord, leave a comment in the comment section below, and I will do my absolute best to get back to each and every one of you um, I do work a 9-to-5 job, so if I do not get back to you right away, uh, I apologize, and I will do my best to get to you as soon as I can. Thank you, guys. Have a good night. I hope to see you again in another YouTube video.